Hello Scorpio, this is your January 2019 reading. It will not resonate with all Scorpios, as you know, but I'm trying to reach a majority. I do shuffle these prior and concentrate on your sign. Each and every reading I do, I concentrate on the sign prior, shuffling. But this is for Scorpio, starting January. 2019, Full Celtic Cross, General Reading for Scorpio, January 2019, Full Celtic Cross, General Reading. Someone may be laying down their swords, Two of Swords in Reverse, seeing things for how they are, fell out, but I want to shuffle one more time. Do a little bit of a mix and see what the incoming energy is for Scorpio. Kind of interesting. See what the energies coming in are. Ten of Swords. Seeing things for how they are. That card dropped out. The Two of Swords in reverse. With the Ten of Swords in the beginning energy. You're feeling a little betrayed, stabbed in the back by somebody maybe. The incoming energy for January. Um, it's someone who just really felt like something went wrong. Something almost physical. Sometimes this almost, may, almost makes you sick or ill. Some of you may have been feeling sick or ill and really had no one there to help. That's just for a few of you. But let me get on with this. Subject at hand is the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles can be an Earth element. It can be uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. People argue what it is all the time, but I'm doing a reading for the masses, so I do not give any one sign to a particular element, but I will tell you what's associated with it, possibly, because it works better that way with the masses when you're reading for the general population. But the Knight of Pentacles can, like I said, be an Earth element. They are in the uprights, the subject at hand. What is crossing this element is the Ace of Pentacles, a, a steady new beginning. And, it's, and it could be that it's very slow coming to a new beginning that's very slow with the Pentacles like this. Pentacles is a slow energy, but a very sound energy that lasts a long time. So I see things are going slowly for you, possibly, or that you're dealing with the Earth element. And you're having trouble with a new beginning, you know, starting out. You're feeling the drudge. And that for somebody else. I think Libra, I think. Or Virgo. And your goal is to end something. Take something out of your life and get rid of it. You went to end things that are negative in your life and you want to transform yourself this is your card Scorpio this is your energy and you have full control over this energy you're being a Scorpio foundation the magician in the upright it is a great card to be in the upright the magician I'll take it any day it's someone that has the tools to know what they're doing what they're doing and they can manifest what they want that is the foundation so it seems like you got some power in your hand. In the past, the Hierophant, this is contracts, relationships, uh, the status quo in society, what is acceptable in society, solid foundations, ceremonies, weddings, sometimes funerals. Some of you may have dealt with someone who have passed along, just very few of you, and had a bit of a ceremony. Others are just dealing with relationships, ones they had a contract with, whether marriage, whether engagements, it doesn't matter. It's something you felt that was steady, that society feels that is steady. In the near future, you got hope. It's a great card. There's hope for the future. And we'll lay out four more. These are going to be outside environments. And the distant future. And I'm going to read them, but I want to clarify these first with the cards I shuffled prior, also concentrating on your sign. 
but we got the Knight of Pentacles as a foundation, the Ace of Pentacles crossing it. Why are you there for Scorpio? It's incredibly slow energy. Yeah, there's some embattlement there. You're striving hard. You're working hard. You're trying to gain something. You're trying to take control of something. It's almost like strife. It is, in a way, strife. But it's more like competition. It's getting out there and, and doing and taking what is yours. It has a lot to, to me. Uh, the magician really um, brings this out. You know, taking control. And uh, in a way, you're kind of fierce in taking what you're wanting. You're wanting something solid, that's for sure, with the pentacles. Can I get another card for the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands, or Rods, whatever you want to call them? Yeah, you're just not going to jump out into anything new without really looking at it, and you're going to battle for what you're wanting. Or battles are occurring around you, and maybe someone is doing this with you. It goes both ways with people you are dealing with, and we do see contracts and relationships here. Now, the goal is the Death card. As you know, I keep all my cards in my decks, even the negative ones. And this, for a lot of people, scares people. But it shouldn't. And especially you, since it's your energy you're taking on. This is someone who's cutting things out and re and re evaluating their lives and transforming their lives. So the death card in the upright as the goal, what crowns Scorpio? Scorpio is being Scorpio. Why? Because you were losing strength before. Why is, it why is the death card the strength card in reverse? Because you were having trouble walking away from something that was really taxing your strength and you may cut something out. Something, like, it's like I said, a few of you may be sick. Battling, you know, all kind of things. Others could be dealing with, you know, like I said, relationships, work. It doesn't matter. Scorpio is getting rid of things that tax their strength. Things they had trouble walking away from before. Now, you got the magician here as the foundation. The magician is yours. You're able to um, manifest what you're wanting. The magician, why are you there for Scorpio? You may be trying to manifest something that had to do with a lover that went amok, that did not work out. Or they're trying to manifest something with you, it can go, you know, opposite for the cross watcher. You may be trying to fix things, possibly. Maybe put something to rest that was battling you in your relationships. The magician, the lovers in reverse, why are you there for Scorpio? Yeah, someone, you either thinking about making an offer or they're thinking about making an offer to you. That wasn't to your liking 100%. You're not sure whether you accept this offer or they will accept it from you. They're contemplating on it. They don't trust it. Like I said, whether you're doing this or you know, not feeling this way, not wanting to trust something, or they are, but someone is trying to manifest. And they have the ability to do so. The Hierophant, in the past, why are you there? For Scorpio, January 2019, why are you there? Oop. The Hangman, it's in the upright, waiting around in the past, trying to work out some type of possible relationship. Things that, like I said, that are sound in the community. Conformity, what everybody does. Hanging around, waiting for that to work out. Could have to do with the Queen of Swords energy. This could be an air sign. Could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Like I said, I do not give these any one sign, air sign, because I am reading for the masses. But you're hanging around, maybe trying to work things out. Or they're hanging around trying to work things out. In the near future, there is hope. You got the star card. It's a beautiful card. The star card. Why are you there for Scorpio in the near future? You're having hopes, your wishes. You're hoping for collaboration that has been, that hasn't been occurring. You may get the, you're, what you're hoping for over something that wasn't working out before. Why? 
This is why the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Can I get another card for the Star card and the Three of Pentacles? Yeah, you don't like the Towers. You got hope now. You're wishing for better things. Because before, why? Because things weren't working out, collaborating, and you had a tower moment where things came crumbling down, lightning strikes your building kind of situation. But things that you're trying to recover and you're aiming to recover, you're making a wish, hoping that you could overcome this. And with the star card in the upright as a major arcana, it looks like that may very well happen. Now I'm going to go on to the next section here. Hope you can see it all. So I'm using these smaller cards. This is a possible future outcome or what the universe is trying to tell you. Advice, as they say. King of Pentacles. Take on the crown of the King of Pentacles. Anybody can do it. You take on this energy. It also could be that you're dealing with the King of Pentacles, which could be an earth element. It could be uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Why are you there, King of Pentacles? We had it in the beginning as the subject in hand. They're still around. They're, they're in the upright. So, King of Pentacles, why are you there in the upright? Nothing wrong with being in the upright. Why? They turned themselves in the upright. They weren't happy before with the sun in reverse. They're still possibly not happy. Can I get another card? King of Pentacles and the sun in reverse. Yeah, they're not celebrating. They're not trusting the situation yet. If it's the advice from the universe, they're saying take on the uh, power of the King of Pentacles. So, because if you don't, you're going to stay happy and there's going to be no celebrations. It's to turn yourself around. It also could be that you'll be dealing with the King of Pentacles. And things just aren't happy and celebrating just, just yet. I mean, it's working its way. You're getting what you're hoping for. But they're still kind of static there. Whatever has been occurring in your life. But the universe could be telling you to take on your crown because things weren't always working out. Or you could be, if it's a final outcome, the energies that are surrounding the final, final outcome, the King of Pentacles will be involved. But there will be no great celebrations. They may not feel like celebrating just that themselves. They're in the upright, though. It is coming towards you. Some give and take. Someone wants to work things out, possibly. Somebody wants to... Not necessarily, does not mean they want to work out a relationship altogether, but they're wanting to come to terms and not argue and not fight, and they're willing to work with you. That's a better word for it. Work with you. Someone wants to work with you on a certain situation. You know, balance the scales. Six of Pentacles, why are you there for Scorpio? Coming towards Scorpio as the outside environment, which could be people. It's always people, usually. Usually. star card they feel like it's hopeless they're trying to work things out but they feel why because things were just so hopeless can i get another card for the six of pentacles and the star card that's in reverse they want balance they feel like it's hopeless but they want to make they want some give and take with you and they want temperance balance what you're hoping or fearing strength you're hoping to gain some strength back. I don't think you're fearing it. The strength card in the upright for Scorpio. Why are you there? What is going on? Queen of Wands. Maybe you're trying to gain some strength. You may be trying to take on this energy of the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, though, can be a fire sign. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I see you trying to regain strength. I think that's what it is. But it could be that you're trying to regain strength with the fire sign. Can I get another uh, card? It also could be that you're fearing the strength of a fire sign. Hmm, I didn't think of that. You can leave it in the comments if you, whatever you're hoping or fearing for. It could be either way. Different dealing with different Scorpios. Can I get another card for the strength card and the Queen of Wands and the hopes and fears? You, know, you feel like you have no independence, so you're trying to gain strength. Possibly, like I said, take on the Queen of Wands or dealing with it because you did not feel that you had gain with this person or the situation. Remember, these are the whys. 
I'm using different cards when I ask a, a question from these cards for the main energy. Ending final outcome for Scorpio. Ah, you are going to celebrate. Interesting. Someone may not be 100% down here wanting to, but you're going to celebrate. They may not be, they may be leery, but it may have very well happen with the Three of Cups. The celebrations, happiness, hanging out with your family, friends, sometimes drinking. Oftentimes it is with the Three of Cups in the upright while you're there. King of Pentacles is in the reverse. Yeah, the King of Pentacles may not want to celebrate right now, but you are. You may try to talk them into it, and you may actually do it. They may be not happy about possibly celebrating just yet. King of Pentacles, like I said, could be a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. Virgo. Can I get another card for the Three of Cups and the King of Pentacles? You're wanting to celebrate. Why? Maybe because the King of Pentacles is upset. Yeah. They're not wanting to talk, but you're wanting to celebrate. Maybe they're angry because you're celebrating. I don't know. It's so different for everybody. Because that's communications in reverse. Could be that people are just partying too much and maybe speaking out of, of what they're saying and it upsets other people. So be careful when you celebrate. You don't get loose lips, you know. Or they don't. So celebrations is there. It's a happy moment. But someone else is not going to be happy about it. That's all I can tell you. Can I get another card for Scorpio? Three of Cups, King of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Can I get another card? Yep, there'll be offers. I see someone offering to go out and having fun and somebody else not having so much fun. But someone's bound to determine to have fun. I think that's you, Scorpio. Seven of Swords. It's, it's attached, there's so many different uh, things attached to that, but I'm going to go with the meaning of all this with this. is breaking free from behaviors that were negative, that were kept on the wraps before. It's just breaking free with the Seven of Swords in reverse. No longer feeling like you got to hide things also for some of you. But it's different for everyone, but the Seven of Swords is a good card you want it in reverse. Okay? So that is your reading, Scorpio, and I'll come back when I can and give you another reading. Talk to you later. Have a great new year, by the way. Bye.